Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn how to install the current MySQL version on Windows 10 and we will also create a sample database. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. On Google type MySQL and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it. Now click downloads. Go below and click on MySQL Community Downloads. Here and click MySQL Installer for Windows. And the current version MySQL 8.0.40 is visible for Windows. Two versions are visible. We need to go for the second one. And this is available for both 32 bit as well as 64 bit Windows operating system. Click here, download. Now click no thanks, just start my download and the download will start. Here it is. Let's wait 306 MB. We have downloaded the setup. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize. Now the setup started. Choose a setup type. I'll click on custom and click next. Now under select products, click on MySQL servers, MySQL server, MySQL server 8.0 and 8.0.40. Just click on the arrow to drag it. Click applications, workbench, workbench and click workbench also, drag it. Then go to shell, MySQL shell and shell 8.0.40, drag it. Now we have these three products, we will install it. Click next. Now ready to install all three, click execute. Now it will install one by one. The installation is complete, click next. Now product configuration, click next. Type in networking, the port is 3306, fine, click next. Authentication method, use a strong password, keep the default which is recommended also. Click next. Here in set your password, so root means the admin, so you need to set your own password. Set your password and remember it. Okay, you'll need it later. Click next. Windows service, keep the default. Click next. Server file permissions, your database will get saved in the following location. You can check later. File permissions, yes, grant full access, the default. Click next. Apply configuration, click execute. Completed, click finish, click next. Now when I'll click finish, it will open MySQL Workbench and Shell, click finish. Minimize, we need to also set the path. So go to the place wherein we installed C drive, program files. Here is MySQL, MySQL server, bin and copy this path. Minimize, go to start, type environment variables and click the first one, edit the system environment variables. Click open. Now go to advanced, click environment variables. Here and go to system variables, double click on path, click new. Right click and paste the same path. Click OK. OK and the last OK. So we successfully installed it. Let us verify and create a sample database. Go to start, type CMD. Click open. Type the command mysql space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. 
8.0.40 that means we successfully installed it. Now let us start the server. Type mysql space hyphen u. Here in u is for user which was root. Okay. Hyphen p that means password. Press enter. Now enter the same password which we said before if you remember. Press enter and we are inside our mysql. Okay. Now let us see the default databases. Type the command show databases semicolon and press enter. Now here it is. We have the four default databases. Let us create a new database. Create space database and the database name. Let's say our database name is AmitDB semicolon and press enter. Query OK one row affected. That means we successfully installed it. Now type the same command and our new database will be visible. Show databases semicolon and press enter. Here it is we successfully created a new database. Now if you want to create tables and perform operations a complete free tutorial. Link is mentioned in the video description. It is a 2.5 hour tutorial completely free. Now what about workbench. Here is the workbench click. So here and you can also create databases and tables. This is a UI. If you don't want to type such commands, you can directly create databases and tables here. We have also provided a free MySQL workbench tutorial. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.